Once an unused area of brush and debris, this East Lubbock location has been cleared away to make fairways, so these disc golfers have a more challenging place to make an ace. Well, May Simmons is a perfect place for that. It's different than any other park in Lubbock. It's real wooded. They've got a lot of uh, creeks and uh, lots of technical shots that are not real typical to Lubbock. Seven months and $20,000 later, Michael Conkling unveiled his pride and joy this weekend, Lubbock's new 18-hole disc golf course. Everybody came together. There's uh, uh, several hundred disc golfers here. I think there's about 70 here today for the grand opening. But uh, all, all private labor, I mean, all donations, everything that's been done here has been done off just local disc golfers. Conkling's been the push behind the project, but says community support made the idea a reality. His right-hand man, Rob Lee, a member of the local disc golf club, Wind Riders, has been involved every step of the way. We had a vision for many years, many of us that, that played disc golf on, on having a highly technical course here, and we were finally able to work out the details with agreement with the City Parks and Recreation Department. They've been really helpful coordinating with us, and uh, basically uh, we signed, uh, Michael signed the bottom line, and they let us do all the work. The goal was to create a course different from McKinsey Parks, which is a little bit more open. Dylan Valance, the sport's number one amateur in the state, says he's always ready for a challenge. It's nothing like what we have around this area in, in, the, in Texas. It's probably one of the best wooded courses we have in Texas. Everybody's game is going to change because it's going from throwing as far as you can to trying to make it as accurate as you can. And whether you're playing at an amateur level or just for fun, the camaraderie is what keeps people coming back. I wouldn't know any of these people if I didn't play disc golf, so it's, it's an opportunity for me to meet people from all over the city, from all over the state. We know everybody knows everybody. We all have everybody's phone number. We call. We all meet up every tw three times a week to play. When you start playing with people, you meet, you meet friends and uh, you know, it becomes just a tight-knit community. With over half of the holes complete with sculptures by local artist Steve Teeters, the course isn't just recreation, it's also art appreciation. Ah. Bailey Joe Miller, Fox 34, News at 9. I'm going to hit that thing.